It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Timothy Taylor's. I can't tell you how excited I am when I mention Timothy Taylor's. What a fantastic, class, classic British brewer. Most of us, or I would say probably 75% of the people watching this channel or watching this video today have tried Landlord, the famous beer from Timothy Taylor. But it looks like... The head brewer has been let off the leash a little bit here. He's able to brew his own beer. Now, this is uh, tailor-made by our head brewer. 4% ABV. It's called Hopical Storm Pale. It's in a 330ml bottle, brown glass, black bottle cap. Without further ado, let's get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. In this review, I'll be talking about the importance of letting the head brewer or the brewer off the leash a little bit, letting him kind of process his ideas in the brewery and produce some different things. I'll talk about that in a moment, but first of all, I want to get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening, beer in the glass. Classic pale looking beer, 4% ABV, little bit of haze in there, little bit of haze from Timothy Taylor's there. How exciting is that? It's amber in colour, got slow moving carbonation rolling up the side of the glass, it's a one finger white head, looks very, very good. I like that slight haze there. It really does mean the brewer's been let off the leash, doesn't it, when you see a little bit of haze in a beer. He's been able to leave a bit of that flavour in the beer, you know, it's not, it's not been kind of like washed out and so the beer's totally bright. Because when you do that, when a beer is washed out and it's totally bright, all of the best parts about the beer have gone down the drain. Literally, the best parts of the beer, to make that beer bright and clear, have gone down the drain. So it's nice to see a little bit of haziness in the beer. Aroma. Smells really good. Really, really good. Now this beer came from uh, Bingley Brew Club and when they sent, I'll talk about Bingley Brew Club as well in a bit, um, but when they sent it to me, they sent it to me in yellow paper and I think they did that to protect the beer because um, it's quite hoppy you know. Protect it from the light, even though it's in brown glass. That's lovely. Really, really juicy, orangey, kind of tangerine-like aroma to the beer. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, very good. Super juicy. Super juicy beer. 4% ABV. Massively drinkable. Massively refreshing. Super clean. I mean, it's super, super clean. Wow. It's almost kind of got the feeling of a New England IPA about it. In that there's just not that much bitterness coming through. It's all kind of middle ground flavour. Loads of like tangerine mixed fruit flavours in there. But then the second taste is slightly different to the first taste where I'm actually getting some bitterness now. Really good, really refreshing. Carbonation pushes the beer around the inside of the mouth, releases more of that flavour. It's quite tart, it's quite kind of marmalade like, spicy marmalade, tangerine y. Mm. 
super drinkable. Super drinkable. It's fantastic. You can see, and this is what I'm going to talk about. I'm leading myself into the head brewer now. Talking about the head brewer, of course. Um, you, can, you can see that the head brewer has put his heart and soul into this. And not only has he put his heart and soul into this, you can tell that the bloke knows him. Might be a female, might be a lady. Doesn't matter, does it? Um, I'll just say bloke for now, but, and if it's a woman, I'll apologise later. Um, you can tell that the bloke loves beer, has a passion for beer, and the important thing is that he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Probably, and, and I wanted to talk about the importance of letting the head brewer off the leash. Because I've brewed my own collaborations with brewers. And the first time I brewed my uh, a collaboration with a, a major brewer was Shepherd Neem and then Brains. And you can tell, I mean, you can tell the passion was bursting through their veins when they were like, they were able to experiment with hops and... The first one was a ginger porter with Shepherd Neem. I had to hand great ginger the night before we went down and we took it down on a big giant sandwich box full of grated ginger. And we put that into the beer and we just had this wonderful ginger porter. It was terrific, really good, really good. Top of my head. And I can see the guy's face in my head. Shepherd Neen, the older head brewer there. Um, he was a fabulous guy, fabulous guy. I, the, 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 his name has slipped my mind. But the second guy, the, the second guy I brewed was, 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 was uh, Bill Dobson. Bill Dobson of Brains. And the reason why the passion bursts through their veins when, they, when they're brewing collaborations with other people or, or they're able to be let off the leashes a little bit is because these sometimes these poor regional brewers, and I don't mind saying this, I don't mind saying poor regional brewers, he probably spends most of his time brewing landlord. He probably, Timmy Taylor's head brewer, probably spends 95% of his day, week, month, year, brewing landlord. Now, landlord's a terrific beer, don't get me wrong. But... Can you imagine doing the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over again? It, it must be a little tiring. It must be a little monotonous. So when, you, when you're invited in, so when I was invited in to, with Bill Dobson and Brains to brew Barry Island IPA, it was like, it felt like Christmas because we were choosing the hops and the mar and you could see the excitement in the guy's eyes. And it turned out to be an amazing beer. You could see the passion in the beer. You could see... When we brewed it, when we drank it, it had rave reviews. It had absolute rave reviews because people absolutely loved it. And I'm tasting, I, I brewed Barry Island IPA in 2012. It's now 2023. That was 11 years ago. 11 years ago, I brewed Barry Island IPA with brains. And 11 years later, trying this beer, where it's got tailor made by our head brewer. You can taste the passion. You can taste the passion. You can taste the the energy levels. You can taste the excitement in this very beer. It's so good. It's so good. So, Timothy Taylor's is one of the oldest family-owned craft brewers in Britain. We've been brewing since 1858. So know a thing or two about what makes a great tasting beer. You do. Hoppical Storm is the latest beer in our tailor-made range. A modern style dry hop pale ale using entirely UK grown hops. That's impressive because they're really nice hops. Uh, pleasant fruity body topped with flavours of mandarin, mango and passion fruit, citrusy and sessionable. It's um, the hops in the copper are whipped red goldens, variety cascade, the hop backstage is cascade and chinook. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Love it. I love this from Timothy Taylor. Um, it was sent to me very kindly. 
by Bingley Brew Club. Sorry, it, it's just past Christmas and I had a lot of people over the house at Christmas and my beer mats got a bit dirty. But Bingley Brew Club, check them out. Uh, they are uh, a, brew, uh, a brew club which concentrates on Yorkshire breweries. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? Yorkshire breweries. Some of the best brewers in the country in the UK come from Yorkshire. So check out Bingley Brew Club and maybe order a subscription box from them. But I'm ready to rate this. It's delicious. Smells good, tastes great, looks good. It's the start of 2023 and I've drank nothing but great beer. I've drank some incredible beers at the start of 2023. It's been really good. This one is equally up there. I mean, it's 4% and it's drinking incredibly well. It's so juicy, so lovely. Um, love it, love it. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.